Hi there. So OpenAI introduced custom GPTs. They are amazing. However, I'm more excited about a different thing that they announced, which is even more amazing. Assistant APIs. You can now create assistant APIs. We live in an amazing time. We can create custom chatbots without uh, code. Now that's amazing in and of itself. However, these GPTs, they're only accessible through chat GPT at the moment, only paid subscribers only. Uh, but if we use the AI assistance API, we can make custom chatbots internal only chatbots, not available to chat GPT, not available to public, uh, have our own user experience around it, have our own business model around it, have our own SaaS around it, very niche, very specific. Uh, it's just more functionality. I'd say it's more flexible. Uh, we're already investigating the assistance API uh, for one of our client projects. Uh, so I thought as I go, go through it, as, a, as I understand it, I'd make a video tutorial uh, on how we're using uh, the assistance API at the moment and uh, how we use it using bubble so if you do like this video please give a thumb subscribe to the channel uh, let's dig right in so the first thing you need to do uh, we're not going to be using chat gpt we're going to be using platform.openai.com uh, we need an api key uh, very easily you can just go into api key create a new secret key uh, live tutorial I'll disable this afterwards. So we do have our API key. Uh, I'm gonna walk through this particular tutorial by OpenAI. Uh, it's five steps. Uh, it's uh, it's just easy to, I mean, it takes a while to understand and refigure out and implement, uh, but this is what I'm walking through. Now for the first step, we create an AI assistant. Uh, now this one I'm gonna do in their playground itself. So platform.openai.com, playground, I can just create uh, a new assistant. So for the example, I'm using product scoping assistant. Uh, we have a five step product scoping guide, which walks you through an, a new idea for an app, uh, clarify the problem, de-risk, elaborating feature, wireframing. This is a five step process we follow a lot uh, at the company. And uh, where are we? Yeah, so the prompt you can get very, fancy with the prompt you are a fancy assistant focus on the uploaded file we upload the file here and then enable retrieval mode so that's oh yeah select gpt4 turbo so click save and our ai assistant has been created uh, not accessible to the world yet but we're going to do that using bubble so just to check it out what is the ASCII product scoping process, add and run. And it takes a while, and then it's reading through the entire PDF and coming up with an answer, generating the answer, and then it's gonna uh, display the answer right here as well. Three, two, one. Okay, mistimed that. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, it, sometimes it takes a few more seconds. Done. So product scoping, clarify, it's just a nice short summary, uh, the first file as well. Okay, so <clears throat> now we just breeze through the first assistant. We didn't go through, you can make the assistant using API as well. At the moment for this tutorial, I'm not doing that now. That should be part two. If you do want that, please do drop a comment below. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the rest because there's two parts to the open AI assistant. One is this part, the creation part, which we'd like for our app as well. But maybe for some use cases, we, ha we can create here. We only need the right part, the threads, the messaging, the runs, the back and forth, the interaction part. So in another video, if you want that, drop a comment below. So moving on to the next one, the step two, what we need to do is create a thread. So at the moment, the docs, they're only Python and Node.js. We need REST API or curl is easier to read as well. So I'm gonna switch to API reference. It's already open in this tab, API reference, threads, and create a thread, okay? Now let's open bubble. Uh, I've already made an app. I've already installed API connector. I've played around this, so I have it, but I'm just gonna add another API. Uh, where is it? Open AI live tutorial, 
the authentication is private key in header uh, it's bearer and authorization bearer space did i i have a feeling i i missed that okay let me just settings api key create another one there it is and okay and the first thing i need is let me just turn this one can be revoked okay so we've got our authorization bearer token private key and header we need an api call and let's take a look we're post we're doing a post api call of a thread so let's take this endpoint we're starting a new thread we're basically where's my uh i had my documentation with my assistant documentation i was in step two we're creating a thread okay so we want post thread create a thread initialize call we must provide open ai beta in the header got it i've done that before so if i go here it says nope it's not here it's in the other one so it's still in beta very early so i'm sure the docs will improve very quickly but in the header we need to pass come on this one open ai beta add a shared header open ai beta and assistance equal v1 assistance equal v1 initialize Live tutorial the header value for open beta is not correct. Did I is there a space assistance equal open AI beta shared header key value? Hmm. There maybe have been a space or something here because I don't think I changed something accidentally. So we do have a thread ID now. We've created a thread. So step one, we did it in the playground. Step two We've done it in API connector. Step three, we add a message to a thread. Okay, so API reference doc, messages, create message. This is our endpoint and it's a post type. The thread ID is in the URL itself. There are some extra role and content parameters as well. So let's copy this and save, add another call, create a message post we can turn this into square brackets to get our unchecked private get our previous thread id uh, we can click manually enter api response to check the old response now that's my thread id uh, but we do still have to pass the body uh, if i switch from python to curl here this makes it much easier to copy this JSON that I need to pass to open AI. So here's the JSON. The role is user. The content, this is what we need from the workflow from the input, the user input. Uh, it comes from here. Content. How does open AI work? Explain it in simple terms. So if I initialize this call, it creates a message. Okay. Note it hasn't actually run the message yet. Let me explain the subtle difference. Uh, it's structural, but very important. So if I write this and if I click add, it's only added this in the chat. Just added this message to the chat, but not run yet. Should I run it? Now add and run, this runs the AI, this asks the question to the AI. The AI reads the whole thread and it's like, here's my answer. I'm guessing the AI will be smart and it's gonna ignore these and it's gonna actually just straight up answer this question. So creating a message, we have to uh, create the assistant, create the thread, create a message, then run the assistant. So in playground, when I click add and run, I'm running. So it's like here, product artificial intelligence and it's trying to do a step-by-step -step process of the five-step scoping guide or something weird uh but yeah 
So where were we? Yeah, so I've just created a message here. Next stop, creating a run. So run the assistant, thread create run. So I'm switch gonna switch to the API reference, threads, threads, create thread. No, I'm confusing. Run, <laughs> create run. And I just have to do a post on this endpoint. So create a run post and again square brackets to pass a generic thread ID. So if I pass a generic thread ID, here is my thread. So now I've told, okay, I'm missing a field. <laughs> I made this mistake every single time. Uh, I need to tell it which assistant it was. Up until now, we haven't told which assistant uh, it needs to run this thread on. So now let's go assistant ID, assistant ID. And here from the playground, we can get this little text here. That's the assistant ID. Assistant ID, that can be private. Okay, so now I've run a thread. The status is queued. If we get this thread immediately, the status will become in progress. And after a while, the status will become completed. That's the next step. So I go through this, run the assistant, display the assistant's response. So the first thing, we have to check the status to see if it has moved to completed. You can periodically retrieve the run to check its status to see if it's moved to completed. I'm not a huge fan of periodically just polling again and again and again, but that's what the current response says. I suspect this is gonna turn into more webhook event driven in due time, but at the moment, or callbacks, uh, but this is what it has at the moment. So we get a run to see if it's completed. The next step, get run or retrieve run and click here. Next step, get a run, get thread ID and thread ID here, uncheck private, initialize the call, here it is. So now we've got a run, the thread, its status is completed, so it's done now. But where is the message? To get the message, we actually get messages on the thread. Okay, so the next step after here display this is, so first we retrieve, once the run completes, you can receive messages by adding, added by the assistant to the thread. So it's like client beta threads messages dot list. So if I go to API reference, messages, list messages, and this is, I need to get the list of messages now. So add another call, get list of messages here, thread ID, messages, and where's the thread ID? And this should contain the answer. So this is the answer by the assistant, role assistant, and this is the role user. How does AI, open AI work? Explain it in simple terms. We can flip the order of this as well. Something I had to fine tune in this. So order, the default is, a, or default is descending. And if you make it ascending, it's in human readable order. So order ASC, uh, that is a query parameter. So question order equals ASC. Initialize. So this is what it looks like. Okay. User. How does AI work? Explain in simple terms. Assistant. You know that I access to how you upload. I can explain how I work in simple terms. It's being cheeky because I told it to focus on the uploaded file. <laughs> and it's like it's being cheeky even without uh, any mention of AI in the book. Uh, anyways, save. So we've gone through our display the assistant's respond, a basic set of steps, uh, five steps, playground, create the assistant, we did that in playground, create a thread, add a message to a thread, run, and display the assistant's response. So what does it look like uh, after building it even more out? Because this was just playing around with the API calls. So we can come up with a behavior like this, where we create a particular thread and 
uh, what is no code? And I send that chat and it's like, what is no code? It's thinking, 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 thinking. It's periodically checking, 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 checking. And then it's like four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. And here it is. Uh, no code refers to software development, key characteristics, platforms like bubble, yada, yada, yada. This is the answer. And I can, what is AI? Uh, so I can chat. It's I've got my own app with my own chat going back and forth with my own assistant. Uh, and a lot of a lot of possibilities open up quickly. If you'd like, uh, so I can. I'm wondering if I should go do an overview of this uh, interface as well uh, as to how this works. It took a time. It took some time to figure out. Uh, we only need to save the thread ID. We we that that's all there is. There's only the thread ID saved into the database and nothing else. Everything else is in the front end. Everything else is in the front end. So if you do like a video on this kind of like basic front, end, I was just playing around and made this basic looking front end. If you like a video on this, do drop a comment below. And uh, we are definitely working on the assistance API for one of our client projects. Uh, if you'd like some app idea built using OpenAI's assistant API or any other, it's like we've built 50, 60, I don't even know how many projects uh, using Bubble, OpenAI and a whole host of other stuff. So definitely get in touch. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks. Bye.